We're gonna have a meal prep session now. We're gonna turn this into 10 beautiful meals in under an hour. I wanna help you save time, money, energy, improve diet, but most importantly, I wanna get you cooking gorgeous stuff that can look after you throughout the week. It's really flexible, principal recipes that you can make your own. So first up here, I've taken the cheapest way to get chicken, which is thighs and drumsticks, okay? Uh, we've got one onion, sliced, and the other just quartered, and then just some carrot, cut at an angle about just over a centimeter thick. A Little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and this will go in the oven. Now at the same time as this, we're gonna cook some veggies. Knife goes in the middle and you go through the aubergine in half like that, beautiful. Now you can just slice like that across and then on the other half we'll dice, big old chunks. So with the squash, just take the end off, put the tip of the knife right into the middle there, right? Gently push down, right? Don't use too much of your body weight and then I'll just turn that over and do exactly the same. Use a spoon to remove the seeds like this. And actually, we don't have to throw those seeds away. So we're gonna season this up, olive oil, salt and pepper. In we go with the seeds. And then where that olive oil and salt is, just rub that into the squash. Toss the little chunks of aubergine. All looking good, happy days. We've got our chicken and onions there. So that goes in the oven for 45 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 Fahrenheit. Right, let's get cooking the other parts of these beautiful meals. So I've got a pan of water here. I'm gonna get some pasta in here, 150 grams, any pasta of your choice. 12 minutes on the cook, that goes in. Salt your water, always. So lid back on, let's get that to the boil. Now I wanna use that water and that energy as efficiently as possible. I have two kids that are gluten sensitive, right? So they can't have pasta. So I have things like gluten-free pasta, but these are amazing. This is rice noodles. So I'm gonna use this across four meals. So next one is couscous. 75 grams per portion. All I have to do is rehydrate that. So just pour in that boiling water and these will rehydrate straight away. Just cover the couscous. So we got carbs working, very, very nice. Let's think about things like broccoli and we're gonna steam these in the same water that we're cooking the pasta. Lid back on top, boily boily, steamy steamy, rehydrate -y. happy days. The last one will be embracing the most wasted food product of all. 30% of bread sold is wasted. So we can turn what might be something that gets thrown and let's make it really delicious and tasty. We'll take things like harissa, you can get it everywhere. All right, so just a little bit of this, it's not too hot by the way, and just get this rubbed up all over. Use your hands. And it doesn't matter what bread you've got, this could be really good with anything. So I'm gonna carry on using this energy and put that at the bottom just for five or 10 minutes until crunchy and crispy. Let me wash my hands. So let's take the broccoli off. Still nice and green, beautiful. So let's just pour the broccoli here. Gonna drain the pasta. So I'll just take the pasta and divide that into here. With these noodles here, now they've rehydrated, just drain them. Let me just show you how I dress these to keep them from sticking. Um, sesame oil is a brilliant oil to have in your little arsenal. A little teaspoon in each and just mix it up with your hands. It's gonna stop it sticking. I'm gonna use some beautiful red pesto. And again, you can just use a little spoon to mix that up. Uh, I'm gonna take this lovely broccoli and just tear it in and around this first one. The next bit I wanna take you on, it's pickles. So I'm using any vinegar I can get my hands on. So this will be a white wine vinegar. We need salt, so seasoning, right? So having a decent amount, you know, a good pinch of nice sea salt is a good thing. If you wanted to put a tiny bit of honey in or sugar, you can, so, so sweet and sour. Let's do cucumber first. So look, this cucumber here, standard, little chunks goes in, mix it up, the magic will start. Carrot, right? We're gonna use a shaver and we'll get lovely little kind of thin matchstick slithers. Got the peeled carrots there, look how beautiful that is. Radishes again, probably quite an underused vegetable. The radishes, the color from the skin comes out and it gives the most amazing color to the lovely pickle liquor. Let's have a little look in the oven. 
So, the chicken here, let's have a little look at it. All right, there's some beautiful little drumsticks there. I'll leave those whole. And then I can put the thigh on this one over here with the broccoli. Really, really nice. And then we've got also the rest of this, which we can just shred. So we can do a little bit of both. So just strip that meat off the bone. Can you see how juicy and tender that is? So that's lovely. We're just gonna sort of decant the chicken into little piles. So I'm just now taking the onion and putting it in here, a couple of those carrots. So in the oven, we've also got the squash and the aubergine. Have a little look at that. And we've got our crispy bread that we did. So we'll just load that up in here and they will be delicious. Cut this aubergine into two and just lay that on top like that. And we'll build that one a little bit later. The little small bits of aubergine here, you can just toss that in all those lovely sticky bits. They will taste fantastic. So we can take some of that aubergine and just pop that onto the pasta. Take that juice, look at that, yes. Any of those little bits of onion, all of that goes in. Nice things happen to the squash when you roast it. You can eat the skin and everything. So again, just thinking about form, we can slice some of it up. This is a veggie dish here, so any opportunity to get veg in there, we will take that. With these lovely little natural cups, you can use those just to kind of load with beautiful things. So stuff that beautiful squash with the aubergine. With this squash here, you could just use a fork and mush it all up. Look at the color. None of this needs to go to waste. So in the fridge, let's just get a few last little tricks. Yogurt with couscous is a joyful thing. Also, we can take a little bit of that harissa and contrast that lovely, beautiful yogurt with a little of that beautiful chili oil. Gorgeous combination. Mix up some hummus. If you ever get the shop bought hummus and you want to bring it to life, just put a squeeze of lemon juice in it and it just lifts it like tenfold. And again, we can put a little bit of that hummus with the chicken. Let's put it under the chicken. So get the feta, crumble that over the pita chips and that soft aubergine. And we can do a nice little dollop of the hummus there as well. Then we got the pickles. So a nice little final mix up. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just like basically loading the plates with as much contrast as possible. With the exception of a little fresh chili that I might want to sprinkle on certain dishes. It's all about your preference. Nice thing, this little pickle liquor here, right? Tangy, salty, a tiny bit sweet. We can turn that into a dressing. So just by adding twice as much oil, we can get these little pots, oil and vinegar, out of what might be considered a byproduct of pickling, okay? So that will be delicious. And that you just tuck into our little story here. Imagine being at work, lid off, shake the dressing over the top, delicious. Pickle juice turned into some nice little dressings there. We've got the last bit now to bring it all together is that's just herbs, so mint, coriander, actually any herbs you wish you know, just making it really feel fresh and delicious. So that's the end of our hour of putting things together. Look at that, 10 beautiful meals. I'm kind of looking at each one of these, thinking like, is it balanced? Have I got lots of veg in there? Yes. Have I got lovely like heart healthy oils, like the olive oil? Yes. Have you got nice carbs, different carbs? Yes. Proteins? Yes. So, you know, I think we've done a nice little job there. This is all about having fun and making some delicious food that hopefully can help you and your family have a little bit of convenience in the week without costing the earth.